Hey guys, what's up? Cam Boy so fast for the chest and the MacBook Pro got an update at WWDC 2009. So I'm gonna show you what happened at that conference relating to the MacBook Pro. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. So, right here you can see the MacBook Pro, and the design really did not change much, uh, which is actually a good thing, because a lot of people like the unibody design, so they kept that design, and the edge edge glass, uh, the unibody enclosure, very cool. So, let's actually look at some of the new things that were added uh, from the 2008 unibody design. So, first off, now you have a non-removable battery inside of the Mapo Pro inside the 13 inch as well as the 15 inch. The 17 inch had that previously but uh, now the 13 and the 15 inch also have that. So on the 13 inch since it only has the NVIDIA GeForce 9400 graphics card uh, you get up to 7 hours of battery life uh, with uh, that laptop. Now on the 15 inch if you have the integrated graphics only you get up to seven hours and if you have the dedicated graphics on you have up to six hours of battery life and then on the 17 inch now you get eight hours of battery life and seven hours with the uh, dedicated on so that's a lot better than before so definitely if you're in the market for a new laptop and you're going Apple look at the aluminum laptops specifically the MacBook Pros they're the best they've ever been, seriously. That's why I'm considering getting a 13 inch MacBook Pro or the 15 inch MacBook Pro for college. Now, the display is still a LED backlit display, um, but uh, now the color gamut has increased 60% uh, greater than before, so like, the blacks are going to be deeper and things are going to be a lot better than the previous screens, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, across the line, uh, all the MacBook Pros, now you get the backup keyboard. So the only MacBook that does not have a backup keyboard is the white plastic MacBook. The MacBook Air has always had the backup keyboard. And now the 13-inch and the 15-inch and the 17-inch, they all have backup keyboards all across the line. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now the I.O. So looking at the 13-inch, uh, what's definitely new to the 13 inch is the inclusion of a FireWire 800 port. Since this is a MacBook Pro, what MacBook Pro does not have a FireWire 800 port now? So they put it on there. And uh, they also added the SD card slot instead of the Express card slot, uh, which really no one ever uses that Express card slot. The only thing I think people would use it for would be one of those uh, 3G wireless cards to get you on the internet when you don't have Wi Fi. And then, otherwise, really everything's the same from the other MacBook, the Unibody from 2008. And now on the 15-inch, really, again, the only thing was added is the SD card. But on the 17-inch, they kept the Express Card 34 slot. I don't know why, but they did. So, if you still want to be able to plug in a 3G card, then you might want to get the 17-inch. Or consider going uh, refurbished to get... Uh, the express card on a 15 inch or a 13 inch. So, let's go look. Also, you guys know, across the line with Mats, you get the great 802.11 N Wi Fi. Also, you get the Super Drive, you get your Kensington Lock, you get the built in IC camera for iChat and for things like Photo Booth, pretty cool. And for great programs like ScreenFlow that you can uh, get. Uh, Screenful obviously does not come with uh, every Mac. You have to actually get it yourself. Uh, then you got the graphics card. The graphics card is still the NVIDIA Chief Force 9400, and the uh, 9600 is the dedicated, but uh, the performance is pretty fast for uh, a laptop. I think definitely Apple is now part of that gaming experience market now. 
I think before, people didn't think that Ant Bulls can game. Now, I think they definitely have a chance. Um, why Mac? I think you would love a Mac, definitely, because of the great operating system. I mean, Leopard kills Vista. No doubt, in my mind, Leopard kills Vista. Leopard kills Windows 7, I believe. Uh, I mean, definitely Windows 7 kills uh, Windows Vista, but I still think Leopard can be Windows 7, and now that Snow Leopard's coming out soon, man, it's, it's a perfect time to buy a Mac. Now, for all you environmentally friendly people um, that really care about the environment a lot, uh, you can read here uh, the status report, and Apple meets all this with the MacBook Pros, which is pretty good. Uh, definitely, especially because the unibody enclosure is highly recyclable, so uh, that's really good for the environment. Uh, now let's look at the price. Now, if we're looking at 13-inch, uh, the baseline is a 2.26 gigahertz. Uh, if you want to go for the 11.99 model, for 14.99 you get a 2.53 gigahertz. Now that same processor, you can see for $200 more on the MacBook Pro. And uh, you get the same hard drive, same RAM, you just get a bigger screen. Um, and you don't even get the uh, 9600, you only get the 9400. So uh, that MacBook Pro I'm probably not going to be looking at. I'd be looking at either getting the 13-inch MacBook Pro right here, or the 15-inch MacBook Pro right here. This one's probably good enough for me because I don't game really that much. And if I did want to use any graphic power, I think definitely 256 megabytes is fine. But uh, really, I think this is a great laptop. If you're really in a market for a new laptop, as I've been saying a lot in this video, definitely Mac, great computers. Uh, and this costs $19.99, which is the same as the old 2.4 gigahertz Unibody MacBook Pro from last year. So, to wrap this up, guys, uh, definitely, I mean, Apple, they make great computers. Uh, even if you're looking at now the MacBook Air, I mean, you're looking at this and you got a 1.8 gigahertz now and a 2.13 gigahertz. And for $300 more, they change the prices so much. And for $300 more, from the $14.99 price, to the $17.99 price. You get a bigger hard drive, but this time it's not just a hard drive, it's a solid state drive. Which, if you guys don't know what solid state is, no moving parts, it's much safer in case you drop your laptop. Uh, your media is much safer on flash than it is on a, a hard drive. And you get 128 gigs versus 120. So guys, this is KMPYZO5 here, it's Josh. For some exclusive content, you can follow me at twitter.com slash campwise 5 Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Command Shift 2. So guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to Mackinac Ships because EB from Mackinac Ships uh, helped me out with some of the cool design layout on this video. So thank you to them. I'll put a link to their YouTube channel in the description.